was the dream of many AUC presidents, faculty, alumni, and board of trustees members to have a rare books and special collections library. The university already had been given wonderful rare books, such as the Description d'Egypte, which is a unique imperial copy. So the opening of the rare books and special collections library in the wonderful old villa in the Sheikh Rehan Street in 1992, and also offered opportunities for housing the Sir K.A.C. Creswell collection and other special collections of photographs, documents, and other items. I have been attached to the Rare Books Library since I was a student. I came as a year abroad, and in those days it was on the top floor of the old library in the downtown campus. Since then, then when I came back, to teach um, at AUC, I enjoyed the library very much because we'd moved into the exquisite rare books villa downtown. And now, of course, we are once again on top of the library in uh, the Tagama campus. Within the last 10 years, I have been working very closely with archivists, curators, and librarians in the Rare Books and Special Collections Library, who are responsible for many collections. This work has yielded meaningful and sustained collaborations that have resulted in the development of a specialized pedagogy that moves beyond basic information literacy. The Rare Book Library was originally founded by K.A.C. Creswell, or I should say really that his collection forms the core of the Islamic art and architecture collection at AUC. And the university was incredibly fortunate to have been able to acquire this collection because Creswell was one of the pioneers of Islamic art and architecture, and he also was a bibliophile. also moved into regional architecture, Coptic studies, producing oral histories, and many other things. The photographic collection at the Rare Books and Special Collections Library is by far the, most, uh, the biggest and the most impressive in, uh, in Egypt, if not in the entire Middle East, and it covers uh, many subjects, basically caters to not only to the students, but to the entire community of researchers in Egypt and uh, worldwide. The mission is to support excellence in research and learning at the AUC by assembling, conserving, and facilitating scholarly access to comprehensive collections of information materials about Egypt and the region. Our vision, of course, is to become a great library. That is to say, a library that scholars worldwide look to as being the place to go to for the information they need about Egypt and the region. The archives of the university, that would be the records of its presidents, deans, and other units going back to its earliest days, the 1910s, uh, its founding in 1919 to the present day. Uh, besides documenting the work of the faculty and the administration, those materials also document student life through things like yearbooks and photographs. A conservation lab with a well-trained staff who conserve and make accessible our more fragile books, photographs and other documents.
We typically produce two major exhibits each year. The latest exhibits have been about Al Butanabi Street, as well as Palmyra, a cultural heritage going, going, both of which were a protest against the destruction of historic and cultural sites in the Middle East. The Rare Books and Special Collections Library hold a collection of maps dating back to the 18th, 19th and early 20th century. The library holds around 2,000 maps and atlases dated back to the 18th, 19th and early 20th century. The mission of the Digitization Center here at the RBSCL is to uh, digitize material for preservation and access. So we digitize books, postcards, films, audio, maps, and we put these in our digital library as well as provide them to researchers access to the widest range possible. The current project is with, in collaboration with the New York University to digitize 3,000 volumes of Arabic language books hosted on their website. The rare books are of a special nature. Usually they are very old books and sometimes they are in a bad condition. Uh, they need to be preserved and they need special attention and care. We have entered in several cooperation projects with world-renowned institutions in order to share and complement each other and this in the aim of better serving our students and researchers. The Rare Books and Special Collections Library stands as a prominent educational resource for faculty and students for their learning experiences today and in the future. But one of our strong points as well is our reputation for conserving and preserving for posterity those books, documents and artifacts entrusted to us. Donors know that what they give to us will be safe and remain in Egypt.